All right, we're back for another roll bar install, but today it is the finally released ND GT3 roll bar from Blackbird Fabler, now available at auroraautodesign.com. So I ordered this and got this specially coated to uh, match something on my car. And this was a collaboration between me and Modi, the owner of Blackbird Fabworks, in order to have this roll bar specifically designed to fit with the CB3 fabrication hardtop. So now we're gonna get into it and show you how to install it. Now there's a couple of special features that are specific and proprietary to this roll bar. So Modi asked me to not include a couple of steps just in case, you know, he doesn't want anybody copying his design. So out of respect, we're gonna brush over a couple of those things. However, he does include some very detailed instructions. So if there's some things that I'm not showing in here, just make sure to check your instructions. So the first step that you're gonna wanna do to get things ready is actually pull out your seats, both the driver and passenger seat. This will give you a lot more access, especially if you have the full plastic interior still inside. In order to get to a lot of the spots, you need these seats out. So we're gonna get them pulled out right now. Okay, now the seats are out, the next step is gonna be removing the plastic trim pieces from the car. Uh, you always wanna start from this one here. Uh, pro tip, always use the plastic trim tool. Don't use a screwdriver. You'll screw up your paint and you'll mar the plastic. Not a fun time. So start from here and work your way this way. There's lots of little plastic clips like this throughout. And there's also some hidden screws and stuff like that that are going to be in the plastics. Just take your time and be strategic. If something feels like it's not wanting to come out, just double check and see if there are any hidden hardware or any hidden little push pins like this that you may have missed. So now once you have all the trim out, you can see the factory rollover protection uh, uncovered. The important things to know is the different spots where the hardware is down here, where the seat belt is mounted here, and where it is bolted into the soft top here. So you're gonna take off this hardware in order to pull this out. So we're gonna start working on that right now. So once you have the factory rollover stripped down to this point, uh, you take out three uh, bolts here and all the hardware here, as well as the seat belt brackets. Do that for each side and then get ready to take it out. So now that we have everything stripped from the interior so far, we are ready to take out the soft top. This is a requirement for the GT3 bar. It was made to run without the soft top, so you will need a hard top to run this. Shout out to CB3 Fabrication. So in order to get the top out, what you're gonna need to do is there is some bolts here. Well, usually there is, but I already took this one out. And then you're going to have to pull out this interior trim to get to all these different little plastic trim pieces. You have to pull those out to get to the rain rail that holds the soft top in place. So we're going to start pulling these items out and start working on pulling out the soft top. All right, so now once you have all of the hardware removed from the soft top, one thing you'll notice is that it's not gonna want to go back into storage position very easily. Uh, it is spring loaded. So the one thing that I like to do is grab something to wrap it up. I have this plastic wrap and just compress the spring and wrap it up before taking it out. It'll make your life a lot easier. So now once you have the soft top completely removed from the car, the last little piece that you're gonna have to move is this amplifier. If you don't care about music, you can just pull it out, uh, but for now, I'm just going to unbolt it. There are some instructions on how to install it uh, back in the car once you put the roll bar in, so make sure to check your instruction manual. And now it's finally time to put in your new roll bar. <laughs> All right, 
So as you can tell by a new shirt and new haircut, it is a different day. So when I, we left you off, we were getting things ready to put the roll bar in. And now we have it in, fully bolted in, and the accessories bolted onto it. Now this is not by any means an easy job. Uh, this was actually more difficult than even some of the other previous roll bars we've done for NA and NB Miatas. Uh, there's a lot of uh, test fitting, putting things on and having to take them back off to make sure that things were lining up correctly. And there's one particular part of it that if you read in your instructions, you'll know what I'm talking about. That requires quite a bit of drilling and quite a bit of guesswork trying to line things up. It uh, did not go smooth at all for me. Uh, it was probably one of the, the more difficult jobs I've done for something that is a bolt-in piece. If you don't have a well enough equipped garage or you're not super sure about it, this is a job I would definitely recommend getting installed by a professional. If you live in Southern California, you can actually hit up Blackbird Fabworks and he'll give you a quote to do the install. Or if you live somewhere else, hit up a local race shop or other type of specialty store and I'm sure they'll give you a quote how to do it as well. So now though that we have everything installed, uh, it is going to be the job of putting everything back together. There's going to be a number of pieces we're going to leave out, but we're going to modify most of the interior that we can to fit back in. But before that, as you can tell, the seat's out and everything else, this is the perfect opportunity to do some cleaning. So we're going to get this cleaned out, vacuumed up, and then we'll show you how to do the rest. So as you can see, we have the interior panels on the back mostly in. Next up are these plastic panels that go on either side that cover where the uh, rain uh, runoff is. In order to get these back in, since now there is a bar in this location, you actually need to cut these. It's in the instructions. It shows roughly where they are supposed to be. So we're going to follow that stuff along to cut these up and then fit them around the bar. So we got the back interior back in here. For these plastic panels, it actually took quite a bit of extra trimming. Uh, I do not have the GT3 instruction manuals. Uh, the one I'm working off of is for the RZ bar. So these holes are quite a bit different. We had to make them oval shape as opposed to just the circular cuts that the RZ bar instructions show. So just be aware of that if you are planning to put interior back in here. But now that we have the stuff back in, we are going to start working on getting the interior trim back in for along here, the, the door sills, the upper door sills, and then I want to also add the piece back in that the seatbelt goes through. With this piece back in, you can tell there's actually a little bit of a gap here where this little piece of plastic trim goes on. Since I'm not going to be adding the center cubby back in in that piece, I actually added some rib nuts and put some screws here to attach this piece, these two panels together, and the rest is held in by the plastic push pins. The one thing is, is with this though, is because of the bar here now, we're gonna have to trim this out to make sure that it fits. All right, so we got the interior all back in. Uh, as you can see, I just had to trim the top of this piece off and get it basically to fit around the bar. But I did that on each side and it's all good to go. Seats are back in. And the last step is obviously now that we don't have soft top anymore is putting the hard top back on. All right, so you can see the top is back on. There's nothing special you have to do with the GT3 bar and the, the CB3 fab hard top. Uh, like I said, I designed this top in conjunction with Modi to make sure that these two fit together. So if we come inside, 
you can see that there's plenty of space. There's clearance all the way around the bar. No problems fitting whatsoever. So if you're looking at doing some serious track time or just want an extra safety feature, uh, I would definitely recommend this combination of parts. And we hope that this was instructional. And if you have any comments, let me know and I'll see you next time. The CB3 fabrication hardtops for the ND Generation Miata are now available. If you are interested in ordering a hardtop, go to cb3fabrication.com. Our friends over at Blackbird Fabworks have recently released their GT3 style roll bar for the ND Generation Miata. The CB3 fabrication hardtop was designed in conjunction with Blackbird Fabworks to make sure it fit the GT3 bar with no modifications. To celebrate, we are offering a 10% discount to anyone who orders a CB3 fabrication hardtop and a GT3 roll bar.